Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I'll be explaining problem on the projections of plane. And this is the base problem for the beginners. So see carefully the whole video. Let's start with the description of the given problem. A regular pentagon of 30 mm sides is resting on HP on one of its sides with its surface 45 degree inclined to HP. Draw its projections when the side in HP makes 30 degree angle with VP. So first, here the surface and side inclination are given to you. Try to give the answer of the following questions from the description. First, surface inclined to which plane? Can you give me the answer my dear friends? Okay. Second, assumptions for initial position, that means the plane is either parallel to HP or parallel to VP. Third question, which view will show true shape? That means either top view or front view. And last one, which side will be with the vertical? That means pentagon having the five sides. So which side will be the vertical? So let's start with the first question. Surface inclined to which plane? So here it is given to you. Surface is 45 degree inclined to HP. So here it is HP. Next, assumption for initial position. Here you can see it is resting on HP on one of its sides. If the side or corner on the HP, then you have to assume the plane must be parallel to HP. Now definitely you can understand if the plane is parallel to HP, then top view will show the true shape. Here it is given to you, it is resting on HP on one of its side. So one side must be vertical in the top view. So I should start with the top view first. And here you can see top view is the pentagon with one side is vertical. So let's try to understand three stages. So already we have discussed these three stages in the previous video. So if you have not referred, then definitely you should refer it so that it will be very easy to understand the problem. Now let's try to understand the given position of the plane with reference to horizontal plane and vertical plane. So in the first stage, we are going to assume the plane is parallel to HP and here the plane is pentagon. So it must be like this. Now once again the question, the plane is parallel to HP but it can be rooted in the HP in any one direction like this. So any one position can be over here. But it is given to you on one of its side that is resting on HP. So one side must be perpendicular to this VP. And that is written over here, any one side must be vertical. So this is now fixed. Here you can see this side is vertical, that means perpendicular to XY. So this is our initial position, that means the assumption for the first stage. Now let's give the name as A, B, C, D, E. So here you can see A, B is actually one side which is on the HP and perpendicular to VP. So we should draw first the top view. So you should follow this sequence like as a square wave. So first I should start with the top view. So you can see the top view like this. And already we have discussed how you can draw the pentagon. If you don't know the method to draw the pentagon, then definitely you should refer my earlier video where I have shown how to draw the pentagon with the shortcut method. So go to the playlist where you can find the shortcut method of pentagon. Now here the dimension is given to you as 30 mm. So you should mention it. Now give the name as A, B, C, D, E. Now draw the vertical projection with the help of the roller scale so that you can see over here front view. So definitely you can understand from here also. If you see the front view, then it will be the straight vertical line on XY. So this is your front view. Now give the name. 
So here it is a b, so it must be a dash b dash. Similarly, over here it is c dash e dash and it is d dash. So here in the first stage, we have assumed the plane is parallel to hp. So that in the second stage, it must be inclined to hp. And here it is given to you 45 degree inclination to hp. So you have to replace it now this front view over here with 45 degree to xy. So first mark any one point. Give the name as b dash a dash because of here it is given to you one side that is on hp. So it must be on xy. So here we have assumed this ab that is on the xy. Now you have to replace this view over here with 45 degrees. So with the help of the compass first draw the line which is 45 degree inclined to xy line. Now the angle is given to you 45 degrees so must be mentioned over here. Now with the help of the compass you can replace this shape over here. So draw the arc so that you will get the location of the D point. Similarly, with the help of the compass, you can transfer this distance on this line so that you will get the location of C dash and E dash. Now draw the vertical projection from these all corner points. Draw the horizontal projection from these all corner points. Now here you can see horizontal projection from A and vertical projection from A dash. So this will be the intersection of these two projections. So it will be A. Similarly over here, horizontal projection from B, vertical projection from B dash. So it will be B. Similarly, you can find the remaining points. Now join all the points by the straight line with the help of the scale. So this is your second stage. Now third stage. Again, in the first stage we have assumed parallel to HP so that in the second stage it must be inclined to HP so that in third stage it must be inclined to VP and here the angle is given to you 30 degree inclination with VP. So first, take any one random point, draw the line 30 degree inclined to VP. Mention it over here. Now once again keep in mind if the inclination is VP, then definitely it will be below XY line. If the inclination with HP, then it must be above XY line. Now, I have to replace this shape over here. And here it is given to you. One side that is on HP makes 30 degree inclination with VP. So, AB must be on this line. So, focus over here. First, I am going to locate any one point. Give the name as B. So, A, B must be over here. So, A must be anywhere over here. So, I am going to replace this pentagon over here such that A, B must be on this line. So, it is like this. And mesh over here. So, that you will get the position of A point and the remaining point. But you can imagine this same animation in your mind so that you can replace it with the help of the compass. So now I am going to replace it with the help of the compass. So with the reference of B point, I can locate the A point. So this is the A point. Now once you got this two point, then definitely with reference to this two point, I can find the remaining all points with the help of the compass. So with reference to A point, now I am going to locate the E point. So Take A as the center, draw the arc. So this is actually the locus of E point. So E point can be anywhere over here. Similarly, with reference to B, I am going to find the position of C point. So draw the arc with B as the center. So this is actually the locus of C point. So C point can be anywhere. Now next, with reference to A point, I can find the position of C point also. So with reference to A point, I can draw the R. So now you can say the intersection point must be C point. Similarly, you can find the position of E point with reference to B. So draw the R, so it will be the position of B point. Similarly, with reference to A and B, you can locate the D point also with the help of the compass. Now join all the points. 
So here we have replaced this shape. Now draw the vertical projection from each corner points and draw the horizontal projection from each corner point so that you will get the corresponding point over here. Now join all the points by the straight line. So this is the third stage. So once again keep in mind that all the projection must be as light as possible. Only the front view and top view should be the dark in the examination. So at last, is it required to make more videos on the projection of plane? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.